my first new bill of health when Bill was running for office back in the 70s. And I thought he was a prince of a person who really cared about the environment, women's issues, uh, the bottle, the deposit bill. There were so many things that he sponsored or worked on or helped. William G. Milliken, Michigan's longest serving governor, was known for his environmental stewardship and civility in politics. During his tenure in office, from 1969 until 1983, Milliken lent critical support for Michigan's beverage container deposit law, expanded state funding for recreation and parks programs in Detroit, and signed the state's landmark Environmental Protection Act, as well as laws to protect sand dunes, control hazardous waste, and promote recycling. Milliken passed away in October 2019 in his native and beloved Traverse City. He was preceded by his wife Helen, herself a champion of environmental stewardship and the women's rights movement. A memorial service and celebration of Governor Milliken will be held on August 6 at the Interlochen Center for the Arts. In anticipation of the event, Flo is publishing a series of short video interviews with those who knew the governor and Helen well. Look for those videos in the coming days. I'm Ann Rogers, and I'm currently co-chair of NEMIAC, Northern Michigan Environmental Action Council, an all-volunteer group that has been working to protect the environment for 40 years this year. The most fond memory I have of Helen was back in the late 90s when NEMIAC was working to stop the building of a bridge at the Hartman Hammond connection that would have destroyed wetlands, a beautiful evergreen forest, um, would have destroyed habitat for wildlife, and was really a bad idea. It wasn't even needed. At that time, we used to take walks along there, and we invited Helen to come along. And she was eloquent in speaking to the media about how dangerous and ineffective and destructive this bridge would be. She was not only eloquent in her speaking, but she followed through with many comments to the media as we were fighting this bridge, and it got shut down. So things have changed so much so that the almighty dollar, it seems to be more important than the things that give us life, like our fresh water, and our air, and our good soils. And there, we should be paying attention to people like the Millicans 